On the 30th of January 1972, during a disturbance in Londonderry following a civil rights march, shots were fired by the British Army. 13 people were killed and another 13 were wounded, one of whom subsequently died. We have therefore decided to set up an inquiry under the Tribunal of Inquiry Evidence Act 1921. As uh, the families of uh, the murdered in 1972 has been fighting a long battle for the new inquiry and now the new inquiry is going ahead, it's going ahead, and, uh, we just know we're, we're glad to see it's happening. I certainly welcome the statement and the fact that say, hopefully this will be the start of the end of that long process. And uh, I mean, I myself witnessed Bloody Sunday. I was seven years of age and I remember some of the very vivid details of that particular day. And I, as myself, uh, hopefully, I'll say, and I'll be emphasizing this very clearly, hopefully this will definitely be the start of the long or of the, and the end of the process that's been going on for 27 years. And I'm really happy that the truth will come out about Bloody Sunday because the families and the Irish people have waited now 26 years. So I'm a bit hopeful of it, but time will tell. The historic nature of today's developments are not lost on the relatives. As we have done since the tragic and traumatizing events on our streets 26 years ago, we will be guided by our enduring commitment to truth and justice. We hope that the historic potential of today's developments will be fulfilled and we can finally heal the wounds left by Bloody Sunday. I think it's been a stunning victory for the relatives, for the people of Derry, in their long and hard quest for uh, justice and for the truth. And all we hope now is that the truth will come out.